We had a brew with the Coleman Farms last year. Someone at some point started talking smack. It kind of turned into this competition. I will say after what we did a year ago, we're going to be pretty high up there. We're going to win. We're going to win! There's no question about it, we're going to win. They're out for blood. Yeah. 1996, we started our fermentation science program, which is an emphasis within the food science program. There's a whole aspect of working with the industry and working with research and teaching and educating future brewers. The new brew house came in in January of 2018. It is an automated system. It's great for us when we're doing research. It gives us tremendous reproducibility and precision, which is fantastic as a brewer. This is definitely a, a Cadillac system. It's insane. I wish I had one on the farm. The art of brewing is always going to be there no matter how sophisticated your brewery is. There's been a lot of talk in the industry about who's going to take the crown. How much of a margin do you think Crosby will win by? How much money you got? We don't even know what categories these folks are competing for. You know, farmers by their nature are a little bit competitive, just by nature, and uh, I have just one thing to say to Crosby. Good luck. How are we gonna win? Swag. I'm pretty sure that this wire is in the wrong place, Jeff. <laughs> That's right. So the next brew, we'll move it. Okay. When the Crosby show up. Yes. So this is where you name the fermenters. Yep, this is where we name the fermenters and set our fermentation parameters. Hmm. Who'd you have here yesterday? Was Gail here? Yeah. I know all about Gail's tricks. But as far as competition, I think it's friendly competition. I don't think there's anybody going to lose any sleep over it one way or the other, at least on my side. Now that looks right. Saying that and seeing what's going on here today, I feel this is rigged. It's just going to be interesting to see the different flavors that come out of the beers that you're going to see, because I think a lot of the same hops will be used. We're brewing a uh, lower ABV session IPA with some hops that we grew on the farm. Most of them are established varieties, Simcoe, uh, Mosaic, Equinot. Yeah, that's the good stuff. And then uh, the experimental one is uh, HBC 692. I don't think it's fair we're using these hops. They're that good. We chose Cascade, Centennial, and then Crystal. A good strong dose of the three C's. We're able to use not only hops that we've grown on our farm, but we're able to use barley that's been malted locally in our beer as well. We have Strata, Simcoe, Chinook, and Crystal. Uh, we're gonna go with Midway ABV, 6%-ish, uh, New England IPA, focusing on Crosby Grown Comet, Amarillo, and Centennial. My secret for making great collab beers is just make something that I want to drink so that I'm happy at the end of the day. And uh, life's pretty good when that happens. Because we have so much control over quality from the hops that we grow, also the hops that we source from other growers, uh, will be our pellet quality itself. So we need competition. This is the one. We also have this very fancy way of testing our pellets in the lab called the squishability test. You squeeze it. It takes the dedication of everyone and it takes the, the interest to be able to consistently, year after year, produce a quality product. And that's what we do, produce quality hops. We've got not just the blood, sweat, and tears that go into growing these hops, we've also got the decades of development into these hop varieties that are coming through this brew for us. I think any opportunity for us growers to kind of step into the shoes of brewers and learn as much as possible about what they do on a day-to-day -day basis I think is hugely valuable. Brewers are becoming more educated, which are pushing hop growers and hop vendors to become more educated and do more research, which is why places like OSU are becoming ever more important to help guide us through that process, make sure we're communicating effectively, hopefully get better at what we're all doing, whether it's making beer, growing hops, um, it's important that that communication stays alive and that we continue to fund and make this place a reality. Next year, let's blow it out of the water. Let's make this thing not international, but for sure the Northwest and see how it goes. <laughs>